The Baryonyx is one of the most versatile dinosaurs in ARC. It is agile in water and on land, and can pack a punch against even the largest carnivores, and is, in my opinion, the best caving dino in the game. But I may be biased, because it's also one of my favourite tames. So let's dive into the story of the Baryonyx's real-life inspiration. The first Baryonyx fossil was discovered in 1983 in a smokejack clay pit in Surrey, England. The fossil was a large claw, and on closer inspection of the claw, it became clear that the tip was missing. Further investigation of the find site revealed a relatively complete skeleton. The complete claw was about 30 centimetres long, and it is thought that it would have been even longer with its exterior keratin layer. The name Baryonyx comes from this initial claw discovery, being the Greek words for heavy and claw. Baryonyx was a bipedal theropod dinosaur that lived during the early Cretaceous period, about 130 to 125 million years ago. The fossil specimen found in Surrey is thought to have been between 7.5 and 10 metres in length and to have weighed between 1.2 and 2 tonnes. From the parts of the skull that have been discovered, it is thought that their head would have been almost a metre long. Researchers also think that the specimen isn't fully grown, so mature adults would have been an impressive size. They were identified as being different from other known theropods at the time. Their nostrils were set further back from the end of their snout, and their jaw was shaped more like those of modern garvial crocodiles, and filled with sharp, finely serrated teeth. The end of the snout bulged out and was rounded in shape. The skull also had a small crest just above and in front of the eye orbits, which may have been a display feature. On each hand, it had a large claw measuring about 30 centimetres long, and it is thought that this would have been on the thumb digit. In 2022, a study revealed that Baryonyx possessed dense bones that would have allowed them to dive underwater. Due to its anatomy and the evidence of fossilised fish scales found in its abdominal region, it is assumed that the Baryonyx was a fish eater living along river banks and hunting fish. Some iguanodont bones were also found within the stomach area of the fossil, and this has been interpreted as indicating that they either hunted dinosaurs too, or would scavenge carcasses that they came across. Their environment was likely one of shallow water, lagoons and marshes. The climate was subtropical, similar to the modern-day Mediterranean region. They lived alongside ornithopods, iguanodonts and small sauropod dinosaurs, and other vertebrates such as crocodiles, pterosaurs, lizards, amphibians, sharks and bony fish. Their classification has been debated over the years, and initially Baryonyx was placed in its own family, the Baryonychidae. In the late 1980s and the early 1990s, further research and discoveries of related dinosaurs highlighted similarities between the Baryonyx and members of the Spinosauridae family. As things currently stand, the Baryonyx sits within a subfamily of the Spinosauridae family, and that means that it's related to this guy. The Baryonyx plays a key role in the research of Spinosaurs, providing key information about the family that was lost when the original Spinosaurus specimens were destroyed during the Allied bombings of Munich during World War II. While Baryonyx is similar in many ways to its Spinosauridae relatives, there are some significant differences. The adaptations of its body suggest that Baryonyx did not live the aquatic swimming lifestyle attributed to other Spinosaurs, but instead spent most of its time on land, not dissimilar to a modern-day fish-eating grizzly bear. Partial Baryonyx fossils continue to be unearthed, and their teeth are not an uncommon find on the Isle of Wight. These new discoveries continue to provide us with more information, not only about the Baryonyx, but also about its family group including the relatively controversial Spinosaurus, but that's a topic for a later video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe below. If you made it this far, comment Siva Theorium below and I'll see you in the arc. Take care.